Cruz News Time. Well, will a federal judge in Tampa, Florida, decide the future of U.S. cruises? And man, there's big news out about dropping the mask. Let's talk about it. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to La Lita Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news updates. Well, many of you noticed that I was absent for two days in a row. What the heck? Yeah, I can't think of the last time I didn't do a show, but we got on the road. So if you followed our journeys over the last fortnight, shout out to all the gamers and all my friends in the UK. That's two weeks. We traveled around the country a little bit to take care of some family, see some family, and well, that's about it. Spent a week with my mom, who is continuing to recover well. She got she got great news yesterday. They took out her thyroid. They tested it for the cancer, and she's no cancer. How about that? Thanks, everybody, for thoughts and prayers. And then we moved on over. We went to Nashville for a couple of days, saw one of our kids. Then we went up to Western Kentucky. Paducah, Kentucky saw some of our kids. And then we snuck down to Birmingham, Alabama, and saw my brother and my sister-in-law for just a day. And then we got on the road home. And uh, I was doing pretty good about keeping the shows going, but uh, the last two days I wasn't able to do it as we traveled. So I am back. Thanks, everybody, for your concern. I'm back into the dark studio. I've been filming in the sunlight for so long, it's weird to put on my, you know, vampire uniform and come back into the dark. So I may have to rearrange all this, but I didn't want to delay the show any further. So I thought I would do that. So that's the update. That's the housekeeping on what I've been up to. Thanks, everybody, for wondering where I was at. Appreciate it. Uh, Try to keep the show going daily. But uh, every once in a while, I, I really do think it's been six months since I missed the show. Uh, uh, wild. We have a live show tonight. Make sure you come back 9 p.m. Eastern and watch the live show. But I just want to talk about what's going on in cruising. There's not a lot of cruise news popping off. We're kind of just waiting to see what happens. And the first thing we're waiting to see is what happens tomorrow down in Tampa, Florida, as a federal judge looks at this court case brought by the state of Florida that's been joined by Alaska and Texas. Uh, basically saying they would like an injunction, an injunction to put an end to the conditional sale order set forth by the CDC uh, that would allow cruising to restart uh, immediately. Basically, the the suit from Florida says uh, cut out all the restrictions by the CDC and let cruising resume. In my email, there's been some people that have access to like this thing called Law 360 or their attorneys themselves. They've been sending me some of these court documents. I don't think I can share them because... They're just sending them to me, so I don't want to get anybody in trouble. But man, motions have been flying back and forth. That's the legal system. Like there was a motion that came through yesterday that basically Alaska said, can we join the court case on the telephone? That's the nuts and bolts of the law system. Pretty interesting, right? A whole two-page document just asking if they could join the court proceedings on the telephone. So that that kind of thing is going on. So really, instead of getting in the minutia of what's going on with all those motions and stuff, we will wait for the outcome tomorrow. So then what happens? So Florida should win this motion. Uh, I'm sure that the CDC could appeal it. So I don't think that by a day's end tomorrow, even though we'll know the ruling on this injunction, I don't think we'll have a clear answer whether cruising is going to restart. Uh, Some other things that are going on uh, around dates, Frank Del Rio has reiterated it's going to take 90 days to stand up cruises for NCL. And so 90 days from today puts us into August. So at least for NCL, it seems like July is off the books for cruising uh, in the United States. And uh, Frank even said that August may be in jeopardy. We don't know if that will apply to the other cruise lines. We have seen Carnival Cruise Lines removing the ability to book other cruises in July, some in August. And so uh, sometimes that's indicative of cancellations coming down the pipe. But uh, all of their spokespeople have said, no, that's not what it is. But the you guys know how how it goes. Uh, you know, we see these things disappear. The spokespeople say, no, that's not what it is. And then a few days later, we get a cancellation. I'm not saying that that's the cycle that we're in, but we've done it enough times where that has been the cycle. So I'm anticipating either some big announcements from Carnival about cancellations or really big announcements about the restart of cruising in the U.S. We still have these open questions. The CDC said that cruise lines, if they want to uh, sail with 98% 
vaccinated crew members and and 95% vaccinated passengers that they can skip the test sailings and go right to the restricted sailings. Still haven't seen any cruise lines come out and say, yeah, we're going to do that or we're not going to do that. So it's been pretty quiet, at least from the cruise line's perspective. And uh, I would anticipate that we will hear something this week. I'm wondering if a lot of these cruise lines are waiting to see what happens with this court case. And then the big announcements. There could be big announcements that come out today. So yeah, not a lot going on with cruising here in the United States other than crew vaccination programs. We see MSC bringing crew members into Miami to get vaccinated. There was another vaccination event in Port Canaveral. I know that Galveston is vaccinating crew members. So at least from a crew member perspective, it does seem like the cruise lines are doing what they can to get their crew members vaccinated. We're also hearing from crew members around the world that they're getting called back, that they're getting their contracts. And so there's a, a lot of crew movement, which you would expect would be early on in this uh, you know, restart process. So are the cruise lines going to go through the test sailing process? Are they not going to go through the test sailing process? Uh, that is still to be determined. Now, there was some exciting news from over the weekend talking about the future of mask for people in the United States. Uh, I want to tell you about that. I think it's super important. Fingers crossed that it will apply to cruising. Uh, but before I do that, let me quickly invite you to subscribe. If you like staying up to date with everything that's going on in cruising, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of these episodes. So yeah, over the weekend, administration officials, Dr. Fauci out on the TV programs that happen on the weekends, the political type programs, uh, all, you know, getting questioned. What, what are we doing? You know, now that we see the COVID numbers going down, now that we see the vaccination numbers going up, what's going to happen in the United States? Is it still going to be restrictive? Is it not going to be restricted? And so the message coming from the administration, uh, coming from Fauci, who's basically the spokesperson for the fight against the pandemic in the United States, is that as the vaccination goes up, as the cases go down, then so will the requirements for masks, even to the point where he's saying that we are getting to a place where we will be able to not need masks inside. Now, I know everybody has their own feelings about politics. This isn't political to me. This is keeping my eye on the people that are making the decisions, people that have the power and looking for positive signals from that. And so uh, I'm, I'm down with this message. If they continue to say that as the numbers get better, as vaccines go up, as cases go down, they will continue to lift uh, their recommendations for restrictions like masking on the inside. That bodes well for life here in America, and hopefully it bodes well for that cruise life. Now, we know that the CDC is not willing to say that cruising is like other things in life. Cruising has its own special uniqueness in the mind of the CDC, and hopefully as this goes on, they're going to have to change that perspective. Fauci said on Sunday that the administration needs to be very quick when it comes to updating guidelines. As you see these positive signals come in, then the, the administration has to be quick about uh, making recommendations on social distancing and masking in the positive. Uh, Fauci's starting to really get the message that he's been hammered with that these restrictions can be a little onerous and that if you you don't give some sort of uh, positive outcome when things go better, then why would anybody want to do them? I think that's been a fair argument that's been thrown Dr. Fauci's way. And at least now it seems like he's starting to acquiesce a little bit and saying, yes, you're right. If we say that you should get vaccinated, if we say that you should do these things and you do them, and then there's a positive result from doing them, then the restriction should be less restrictive. Again, will this translate to cruising? So far, it's not translated to cruising as the CDC continues to hold cruising over over here as something different, something other because of all of its complexity. But I've been saying this for a while. If we get to the place where the country is opening up, where social distancing goes away, where big mass protocols go away, and they're still holding cruising over here as the other, I might jump on the side of the people that say they don't want cruising to come back. I'm, I'm not there yet. I do believe that they're living in that overcautious land, but uh, it's going to be too hard at some point to be that inconsistent with the message. I think it's going to be super hard to say on one hand that, look, we got people vaccinated. We got the cases down. We're returning life to normal on land. We're reducing mass restrictions and social distancing restrictions. But when it comes to cruising, we're not doing it differently than we did last year. If that continues on, then like I said, I may jump on, the, on on team. They're trying to ruin cruising. I'm not there yet. I've said it before. If we get 60 days down the road and all these restrictions are starting to come off our uh, life on land, then, then we should see some change in cruising. And if it doesn't, 
then that's going to be a big problem. And uh, the cruise lines, they'll go somewhere else to cruise. We've seen that already. So the big takeaways, and thank you for staying this long for really what's kind of just a brain dump trying to me get my head around everything that's going on in cruising. The big takeaways is we will watch closely for tomorrow to see what happens with the court case in Tampa, Florida. And then secondly, this message that life could be getting better on land uh, as we see social distancing and mask guidelines relaxed as the numbers continue to get better. Uh, I think that is a good message. Now, look, it could just be a carrot to try to get people to get vaccinated, and then it's still going to be some shenanigans. But I'll take it at face value because that's what's been true so far here in 2021. As things have improved, we have seen an improvement of the guidance here, uh, at least on land. And uh, I will continue to be hopeful that that will eventually translate into that cruise life. I'll throw the question over to you. What do you think is going to happen in that courtroom in Tampa tomorrow? Do you think the judge is going to uh, overthrow the conditional sale order going to put that injunction in place to let cruising restart and uh you know are you excited about the the messages coming out over the weekend is it just politicking or do you see this as a path back to normalcy uh let's have that conversation thank you so much for watching the show i hope you enjoyed it please hit the like button or i will put you on anytime dining for your next five cruises this is Tony with La Lita Loca, and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.